Hello, hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome in. I'm the Bronze Jade and today I have a new series treat for you all and it is Fatal Frame. This was something that my mom played and had sort of introduced to me but I was too terrified to play it more than like three minutes so it is completely blind. And I am so freaking excited! This was me trying to get all of the settings just perfect to do the game justice because again these games are not meant to be on widescreen as I'm preaching y'all you already know um, they're meant to be in a 4-3 aspect ratio so I want to give the game the native justice but still give it kind of like a crispness too so I really hope that I capture the authentic the authenticity of it and um, how it was meant to be experienced so Let's see what y'all think. Let's freaking go! I'm so excited. <sighs> I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. Turn it up! Also, that intro music, though. Come on, my that was big sick. Brother. He was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. 1986. I so love this, this filter. is Himuro Mansion. Himu Himuro Mansion. Oh, let's freaking go! My brother was in search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist. And a man my brother was very indebted to disappeared while researching a book. Oh, mysterious. When he told so. me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts, Like he was going far away. Oh no. Turn back now, my guy. This looks awful. Oh man. So he she did she say he had a lead? This is why I like subtitles. A lead on his disappearance? Rituals of this area. It looks like oh. Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. Okay, so he's investigating because he thinks he's still here. Um, however, the public knows that this this novelist is missing. Oh! Oh! Well, this is interesting. What is that? I keep getting a vibration. What is that? Oh my god. Something large beyond the lattice. It kind of looks like a person covered with cloth. What is that noise? Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm already in it. How do I run? Oh, there we go. Whoa, okay, so he thinks that he's gonna find something here. I would not be here. You would not catch me. There's an angry looking mask on the wall. Oh, that looks so cool. There's a bo- oh, sorry, I clicked through that. I found type 14 film. I think I can use it with my camera. Sick! Camera controls, alright. 
While holding the camera, press the circle button to take shooting stand. Okay. Control the player's viewpoint with the left stick. Okay. Triangle to turn around. Uh-huh. Right analog stick to move around. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you can move your body. Enter the tutorial by selecting scraps under file in the menu. Eh. Who needs a tutorial, right? <laughs> Ooh, what's that blue light over there? Oh, I see. Okay, that's weird. So you use one analog stick to move around, but then you use the other... Oh! To, to navigate the X and Y axis. Okay. Interesting. Looks like we're gonna do something with that mask, maybe. I don't know, but anyway, this what a what, mysterious and creepy setup. So, um, I, I don't know if I didn't catch it, but her brother isn't a novelist. It's the guy who he's searching for. Like, it was his friend or mentor or something like that. Uh, I didn't quite catch, but hold on, let me interact with this. I was just too busy talking. Is that a camera? There's an old camera here. I think I can take a shot. Oh, ho, ho. needs. So this is how you can save. All right, let's freaking go. Oh my gosh, it's taking a long time. Himuro, Himuro entrance. I gotta work on my accent. All right, return to the game. Yes. Wait, 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 what was the album? Album. Load? Oh, this is just how you can load your game. Oh, okay. Neat. Oh, I love all the sound effects, super cool. Also, there's like this grainy texture over everything. Gives it like that really old touch. Okay, I guess we go through here. It's almost like a 70s retro nostalgia feel, but but with oh. But with like a creepy twist. I love it. Oh jeez. What's he looking at? Oh, I think he's just looking at the door. Oh! Oh jeez! Sheesh! Oh sheesh! Turn around! Get him! All right, um... <clears throat> that didn't count. I, uh... I was caught off guard, okay. Oh! Oh. I like how when you run into the ropes, you interact with that. Oh, that's so cool! That's neat. All right. Oh, it's me, hello. Hi. It be looking sexy. There's a board nailed to the door. Probably been here, been there a while. I'll try another room. Okay. There's a big mirror, but it only shows my own reflection. Ooh, I do not like that mirror. Let's get out of here. Not that I think any room ahead is going to be any better. <laughs> oh, check out that armor. That's so cool. Beautiful. I can't interact with it. There's an old suit of armor here. It doesn't seem to be just for show. I've seen some hard use. That's cool. There are lots of antiques here, but in poor repair. The owner's hobby, maybe? It's an old lion mask. Many other antiques, too. Collecting was the owner's hobby. <laughs> I like how they noted that kind of twice in a different way. Dust has been disturbed around the sunken fireplace as it, as if it had been used recently. Oh yeah, I didn't even comment on that. Dude, this place is absolutely abandoned. Why would you... I guess if his novelist friend was investigating this place, I, and, and, you know, he already... Oh, jeez! Man looking down. Uh-uh, I am not going up. Hello? Oh, there's that blue light again. Sounds like it's coming from up over here. 
Oh, hello, clock. Come here. Let me talk to you. Ooh. I love the camera angles. There's an old clock here. It's been stopped for a while. There are cobwebs. Beautiful. Dude, this bookcase is crazy. Dude, I keep feeling there's something. <gasps> oh, sh shoot. Did I do something? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Did I kill it? The staircase has fallen down. Okay, I guess we can't... I guess we can't go that way. That was weird, so... Old books, they're about dark rituals. Did they belong to the man that lived here? Creepy. All right, <sighs> I guess we have to go upstairs now. Ugh. I don't wanna. Hello? No one, oh, there's something there. There is a broken partition. Am I saying that right? Part partition. There's an old folding screen here. It might it might have been pretty once, but it's faded now. So this place is like really old then, I'm guessing. This Ooh, cutscene time. It's Mr. Takamine's. Oh, his mentor? Oh, he's having one of his visions. Wow, this... <gasps> oh my gosh. So he just got... He straight up that got one was Mr. Takamine. So he did come here. Oh, that was him. No. I don't see anything. Camera! Oh god, that is so eerie. Whip it out, brother. Time to take a photo shoot. My hands are sweaty. Oh god. Broski, uh, you need to pull that back up, please. Hit that shutter, please. Oh, it's up to me. Shooting goes. Hold up the camera with the circle button. Yes, press the shutter. Yes, 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 yes. When the target is inside the circle, power, mystical power, accumulates. The damage you inflict on the ghost goes up as you accumulate more power. Shutterbug moment. While you have the ghost in your viewfinder and the circle glows, take a shot. You can inflict heavy damage when you take a shot during a shutterbug moment. Okay, the circle will glow, and that's a shutterbug moment. Holy! Oh, there it is! I see it! Oh! Oh! Oh, and it shows the left side. My. He's so close. Uh, easy clappins? That was cool. I'm sure we'll learn more. A ghost with this camera. This camera has the power to expose things the normal eye can't see. I remember the incident from which I learned of its unique power to capture ghosts. Huh. Okay, I'm sure we'll learn more about what those corners mean, but they were coming from the edges. <gasps> oh! Oh, shh. This game's gonna be like that, huh? This game's gonna be like that, huh? There isn't anything in the drawers of the chest. Staircase is- oh, that's super eerie. Staircase has fallen down, probably been down a while. Nothing to do with Takamine. 
Oh, nothing to do with his, his mentor. I wonder if they chose easy Japanese names for us English speaking or non non native speaking speakers. Because the Jap I, I was kinda wondering that. I was wondering if the Japanese would be a little difficult. There's a black padlock on the door. Okay, so looks like we can't go that way. Same message. Okay, I guess we go back downstairs. I don't know who that guy was, but he bye bye now. Peace out. Don't mess with me. I've got the power. I've got the camera. So yeah, he mentioned that he remembered when he first learned of its magical powers. The camera, I'm supposing. Or I mean the camera. Yeah, that's what he meant. The door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was just closed a while ago. Oh heck no, it was because of that ghosty. Hello? I'm not messing around. Let me through. Why can't I walk? Oh, there we go. Hello? Oh, I swear. I swear. Oh, jeez. Oh! I heard that. I don't think I can see anything down there. Oh, it's still boarded up. Okay. Alright, we go back this way then. Oh! That sound. My controller's vibrating. Oh no. It's been two weeks since I last heard from my brother. No. But he left a note that led me to this place. Oh, so she's gonna come after him. Okay. I felt as though something was calling me here. And so our journey begins. Oh, so cute! Oh, I love you. What was the name? My... Who you? So that's her brother. So who's this? The Strangling Ritual. Love that. Sign me up. <laughs> oh, now it looks different. Is she having like a... She said... She said help? Oh my god, okay. What an intro. So just like that, we got so much insight into her brother. Uh, well, at least into his cause, and now his sister's coming after him, but that they also share a power of visions? I wonder if this is like from the past or future or both. There's something on the floor. Herbal medicine! Alright! Oh, the same mask. Well, it's only been two weeks, so I imagine. So everything looks more warm. I, I don't know if it was meant to be like we were watching him through a filter to replicate like the past. Cold air is flowing in through the big through a big hole in the floor. Something fell through here. Oof. All right, let's save. All right, strangling entrance. Sheesh, I don't remember that last time saying that. Anything back here? I don't guess so. Oh, my camera. Why? All right. I I don't know. My camera keeps shutting off on me after like. 
couple, maybe like 15 minutes or so. All right, let's do it. I'm sweating. Also, it's just hot. Oh, ooh. I don't have a camera. I couldn't do anything. Was that? Oh. The ropes. There are more ropes now. There's a small piece of paper on the floor. It looks like a piece of a notebook. Research notes. September 12th. Hey, that's in a couple of days, basically. Now, there's another rope. And another rope. I put the piece of notebook in my file. So, I'm asking too many questions. I'm just curious as to, and I will find out, I'm sure, about these ghosts. Is it one or is it many? So far I've only seen, well, no, no, wait, we saw the, the little girl. There's so many. So these are the ropes he was talking about, right? There are countless eerie handprints here, red head prints. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh my god. <sighs> the ambient the ambient track in the background does not help. It's the same mirror. There it is! Oh, this is where he, like, where it cut. Oh! Run! All those hands. Miku! No! Something happened to my brother. Oh! Sheesh! Dude, this game is crazy! I freaking got chills! I picked up my brother's camera and notebook from the floor. Mom's old camera. My brother had this with him. Oh, it's an heirloom from Mama. I found a new note inside Mei Fuyu's notebook. Kimuro Mansion Investigation Kimuro Mansion was once the home of a large landowner that controlled vast areas of land. They also say that the site held some special significance that had to do with the Shinto rituals of the region. I couldn't find any detailed books about these Shinto rituals, though. The last master of the Himuro family line massacred his entire household. Later, Another family that tried to live there disappeared. Because of incidents like these, nobody visits the mansion today and it lies in ruins. Maybe that's why there aren't any accounts of the Shinto rituals, and why the exact location of the place isn't recorded anywhere. September 24th. I've had a bad feeling ever since I came to this mansion. I'm leaving notes in this notebook just in case anything happens to me. I've got to find Mr. Takamine and the others fast. I hope it's not too late. There are many notes and news articles inside the notebook. <gasps> Ooh! The rope guy! What are you doing up there? Silly? I have released you from your... rope... prison. I think. I hope. Am I, like, banishing them <laughs> when I do this? My gosh, I'm like, this is crazy. They, it's not too much action or anything like that. It's not overwhelming. It's just it's kind of a lot at once. You know, they give you a lot of the premise of the storyline up front, and you're already, you know, defending yourself pretty quickly. There's an old suit of armor here. It doesn't seem to be just for show. Okay, so she's pretty much saying the same thing. There's a lion mask on the chest of drawers. There's a medicine container near the ornamental lion mask. Ooh, more medicine. We're probably gonna need that. Dude, that mask looks so cool. 
Sorry, I thought I heard something in the... <laughs> it's just a different track playing in the background. Dust has been disturbed around the sunken fireplace as if it had been used recently. Ooh! Oh my gosh, it's my bro! What? What? He... Is he a ghosty? Oh, did I see something in there? Oh, I did! Something shiny! There's a box of film in front of the broken staircase. Type 14 film! Let's go! Yeah, so I'm still figuring it out, but I see on the right there's some... I don't know if that's part of the camera, like a shutter or something. The clock stopped at 11.45. It's been stopped for a while. Pretty much she's saying all the same things. That sounds ritualistic in nature to me. Can someone translate? <laughs> it's locked. I hear something on the other side of the door. Maybe someone's in there? Oh, sheesh. Yeah, uh, do we want to go in there? I don't feel anybody's presence behind the sliding screen. Ooh. Are we supposed to feel presences? Oh my gosh, this vantage point. I forgot. It's so cool. Well, this is really cool so far. I, I'm not even bothered that... Uh... <gasps> oh! Oh, oh! That's where we came from down there. Oh, I get it now. It's a big loop de loo Okay. Ooh. Dude, someone count the jump scares in this. This is insane. Been jump scared like three times. Uh. Oh, there's our friend! Dang it, I keep missing him. Where have you both gone? gone? Alright, so he went in here. More cutscenes, I love this. Oh, there's that girl. Dude, it's so creepy. Please don't run, please don't run, please don't run. Are we friends? Um, yes? Oh. You want me to... Should I take a photo? Okay, so this girl seems like she's trying to help. But... She was all going after my broski. In finder mode, you can see things that can't be seen with a naked eye. Try taking a photo if the controller vi Oh, that's why the controller is vibrating. Or when you hear strange noises. Okay. Oh, so that's what that light is. And there's the circle. The uh, shutter bug or whatever it was called. No folding screen in the photo. A door appears where the screen should be. Aha! A secret! But you gotta keep it! Alright! Just like in the photo. Uh huh. There seems to be a hidden door behind the folding screen. Sick! Let's freaking go. Ooh. A little spirit. Hello, spirits. The key. The one, uh, yeah, the one we're looking for, the, the, the padlock. Ooh, I love this. Dude, this is beautiful, even though it's dark and scary. It's still gorgeous. Gorgeous. Go in here first. Ooh, shiny things. I love her hair. This looks really good though. I'm I am very happy with the rendering settings. 
Um, I know it's supposed to have sort of like a depth blur is what I read. So that's what I really wanted to try to keep. Was that my door? I hope so. Uh, but I was trying to keep that kind of field depth, I, I suppose, while also making sure that it wasn't atrociously, you know, filtered and, and textured because it's trying to fit onto a modern screen. But it looks really good to me. There is a small piece of paper on the chest. It looks like a news clipping. Late yesterday, a human body with no limbs was found in the Himura Mountain, located in the southern region of the prefecture. The body's hands, feet, and head were all torn off. The police is investigating the case as both a murder and an accident. The body has not been identified, but it is believed to be a man around the age of 30. The police is also taking into consideration the fact that a body, mutilated in the same manner, was found in the same location 15 years ago. I put the news article in my file. What the heck? Dude, so they're ripping up bodies. There's a pretty ornamental dish on the chest of drawers. I thought I saw something else. Alright, I guess that's it. That's cool! <gasps> God, this freaking game, dude. Stop it. Get, come here. Dang it, I didn't get him. I hear a creepy sound. We gotta go take a photo of it, guys. Oh my god, the sound design is so good. Of course it'd be coming from a closet. Oh, hello. There is a box of film underneath the window. Type 37. Oh, upgrade. It looks like a new roll of film. I wonder if Mafuyu left it here. I hope I'm saying his name correct. A scroll with a picture of flowers on it is hanging here. It's faded and sad now. All right, closet. I'm coming for you. Oh, sheesh. Oh, it's just a recorder. Okay. <gasps> Yo! Hello! Man, I I swear I was gonna get that. Ooh, I love this camera angle. Beautiful. Get it, get it, get it! Grab it, go! Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, so he was hiding from something. <gasps> oh, that is so creepy, dude. <gasps> so his hands again. <laughs> Wow. Dude, she's like clairvoyant. She can see like everything. Like no details left out. What was that? Oh, heck no. Please. I don't. It's covered with dust, but it seems to work. An audio tape has been left inside the tape recorder. White tape one. An audio tape with a white label. It's stopped in the middle. Come on, dude. What's up with this? Stop it. There's a ghosty in here, isn't it? Isn't it? Hello? Excuse me? I have a camera. I am not afraid to use it. Oh, wait. Maybe we can, like, up... Ooh, look at this menu. So cool. I haven't even looked yet. Maybe we can, um... Ooh, nice map around here. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, um... So... Oh! We can look at all of our photos. Ooh, Bound man. Also, we're seeing our uh, photos from when he had the camera. Well, it won't let me go to the camera setting, so I don't think I can, uh... 
I wanted to see if I could do the type 37. Regular oh, regular film has fairly strong exorcismal power. Oh, fancy word. Okay. Can we Ah, there we go. I mean, I might not use it if it's just a reggy ghost. If it's something like a boss coming up, then then yes, I do want to use it. So Did I come from Oh. Yeah, I came from there. So, yeah, th this opened cuz it's leading me to a trap. Oh. Something on the floor. Medicine. An old kimono hangs here. It's faded and dusty, but the red lining is still vivid. <gasps> oh. Takomine. My gosh. It looks like an old kimono chest. So awesome. Oh. Hello? I'm hearing something weird. My blue light. Oh, it's behind this. Right? How am I gonna get this shot? Photographer skills incoming. Oh, there we go! Woman in kimono. Oh. Wait, I used the good film. Dang it! I didn't... Uh, see? Look at me. Look at me! Nothing has changed, y'all. <laughs> it looks like a small mirror stand, but the mirror is missing. The drawer is locked. Dude, this is beautiful. That's what I was gonna say. Everything is so cool looking. I mean, I have a... a an affiliate... Or not affiliation, what's the word? Not preference, but I have a soft spot. A love, if you will, for um, Japanese decor and culture. Uh, my great-grandmother is Japanese, and that comes to a surprise to a lot of people because I hear it all the time. You don't look Japanese, and I don't. I mean, my dad is a quarter, so, I mean, I basically am nothing. <laughs> um, then his mother is half, and then my great-grandmother is full. But very um, fondly remembering her because she passed away um, last year, and I miss her. Oh god. Oh no. It's time. It's time. Pull up the camera, pull up! Let's go, girl. Come on, let's fight. Oh my god. He's gonna kill me. <gasps> That's so terrifying. Oh, did I not get him? Oh, that sounded like that hurt. Ouchie, wow, wow. Special shot. Let's go. Good night. I hope you find your final resting place. The camera began to glow with mystical power. Ooh, the camera seal? Power-ups. You can acquire mystical power by damaging ghosts. Select camera from the menu screen to access the power-up screen. Ah, this is why the selection was... We, we hadn't had a chance to learn about it yet. You can unlock the seal on the camera with the accumulated mystical power and power-up. Oh. About auxiliary functions. When you unlock auxiliary function seal, you enable many special attacks. To use the enabled auxiliary function, <laughs> say that three times fast, um, press the L1 button while in shooting stance. Okay. So I can use special attack with L1. It's limited to the number of spirit stones in your inventory, so be frugal. I don't think I have any spirit stones right now, so essentially it's saying that L1 is a stronger attack. 
Windows tightening belled shut. I can't open it. I see something here. Oh, another tape. We need to listen to that first one. Anyway, uh, yeah, love this. Love everything that I'm seeing. Oh. No, I used the good film. Something shows in the photo. It looks like the lion mask near the sunken fireplace. All right, let's change out this film because it's uh, super valuable right now. Range, speed, max value. Very nice. I think range would be kind of cool to have. Nice. Dude, this menu layout um, and also the introduction music to this game, like on the menu screen, it gave me such a Boulder's Gate 2 feel. Oh, and Boulder's Gate 1. They both had those kind of intros. Um, or menu screen music. And even the way we level up here, the way it's laid out like this is giving me that that vibe so it was just that time that era of va of video games very cool pressure push ghost back slow nice c make ghosts more visible for a limited duration paralyze holy moly look at all these points though we need to get them quite a lot dude i'm ready so we want to find those little sections like where they're hidden and take photos of them. Okay, so I remember where that mask was. Let's go back. I'm sure there's going to be something there for us. Hello? Oh! It's that sound again. Where are you? Where are you? I want points. Come here. You in here? Dude, I hear it. It's so close. It is so close. It has to be in here. Oh, my blue light should be glowing if if it were close by, and it's not, so it must not be there. Even though we hear it. I didn't see the blue light, so... I guess we're Gucci! Let's go! Very eerie, though. Very eerie indeed. <gasps> Behind you, girlfriend! Bring it! There you are! Oh, He's got some HP on him! Come here, sir. Where'd you go? I see you. Let's wait. Wait for it. Oh, there we go. Wait, I don't think I should say that. <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate to say. I take it back. Sorry. Let's keep going. Oh, I have to go to the, uh, oh, he's candy. I got to go to the mask. More herbal medicine. Dude, we're getting so many. Kind of getting worried. Hope we don't have to put it to use. By the way, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all. It is like 10 o'clock at night. It is dark, aside from the light shining in my face. But it is very dark upstairs, and it is very spooky. Perfect environment right now to play this. What you got for me, sir? Do you need me to use my camera? There is something reflecting light inside the ornamental lion mask. Red. Oh, the mirror! I found a red hand mirror inside the ornamental lion mask. I got the red hand mirror. Sick! Okay. So. We just need to go back there, get that in there. I guess open up that chest. And then. We'll be able to- Oh! Man in the closet. 
Dude, there's so many ghosties. Oh, I heard something. Oh, <sighs> Jump scare number 14. All right, all right, all right. Time. Sorry, I got my camera working now. Hello, hello, camera. Hello, everyone. Um, use the ran head, Mary. Yes, ma'am. Oh, is that the guy for the or Takamine? I can't tell. It's that person I just saw. <gasps> oh, the one the who ropes. was running. Editor's photo. I can see the faint shadows of ropes on the man's neck, arms, and legs. Huh, so that's... So he's the one who's just been haunting me this whole time, talking about the ropes, saying he can't find the key, he was in this room with me, I think, hanging on the beam. I got a small key. Oh! Perfect! Oh, Dude, thank God for that turnaround function. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's a little speedy. Come here. Come here, sir. I need my points. Come here. Oh, God. I think he's too close. No. Yowchi, yowchi. Wait, are there two ghosts in here? Stop. Oh no, he just came over here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh. Woo, we got a critical. I think. Come here. Oh, you thought. Yeah, that's right. You thought, sir. You were mistaken. Oh, I see you being a little sneaky. Good night. Thank you, come again. I helped you, I set you free. There's something shining where the ghost wants- Oh, this is how we get the spirit stones. Okay. Sweet, we just opened up crit shots. For real crit shots. Basically. Alright. Well, overall, my humble opinion, this is super cool. It's easy to play. It's fun to play. Um, I'm not feeling frustrated with anything other than the fact that I can't find this closet ghost, but he seems to have uh, been laid to rest now. Um, and it's really beautiful, eerie, very creepy, and I love the mystery. I can't wait to find out more about this really creepy mansion. Oh, we have to go upstairs. I just realized that. Oh no, dude. Another ghosty. <gasps> no! Watch out! Jump scare coming! Okay. Nothing, huh? I don't believe that for a second. I don't. Oh, the door scared me. Sheesh. All right, I'm out. All right, let's freaking go. <gasps> oh. Little feet. Nah. Dude, this game is really jump scary and creepy, but but in the best way. It's not jump scary like gimmicky. It's it's a fair balance of creep and scare. Okay, this is it. Use the key. All right, y'all, let's see who's chanting back here. Are y'all ready? Oh. 
Let me go over here first. Oh, there's so many shiny things! By the way, I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. If you're enjoying it, don't forget to like and subscribe! Alright. There is an old book written in charcoal ink on the shelf underneath the urn. Research scrap. Secret rituals of the Himura family. Many rituals and customs have been passed down through the generations of the Himuro family. Most of them are lost. The only things we have left now are some documents that record these rituals as a legend. Hardly any of the oral history remains. This is because all Himuro family members are dead, and those who are close to the family have been kept quiet about the ritual. One ritual in particular, performed on December 13th, is shrouded in mystery. People who live near the mansion stayed inside on that particular day, and even now, it is considered bad luck to leave the windows open on that date. I can only assume that this is due to the cruel nature of that ritual, but the truth remains unknown. I put the book describing the Nifiro family in my file. Dude, what? Some serious stuff went down. I mean, we already read that about the dismembered person. Looks like an old brazier. There's so much dust inside it that I can't see the bottom. I love getting all these details when you click on things. There's something on the floor. Yes, herbal medicine. We should probably use one. Oh, I see something over here. I thought I did. There's a picture of the moon on this particular screen. It's a sturdy looking old disc. I thought I saw something shiny. Camera angle. Come back. Show me. Oh, alright, I guess not. Let's go through this door. I need a save point! I need it fast. Ooh, shiny! Uh, should we go here first? Ooh. Oh, it's just a closet, okay. Roll of film. Type 37! Let's go! Oh! You look... My instincts told me not to. My gosh. So scary, dude. There are no marks on my body. Just like Gucci. Oh my god. Rope marks. What's up with the ropes? There are several pieces of paper on the floor. It looks like part of a notebook. Red notebook scrap. August 27th. The more I find out about Himura Mansion, the creepier it gets. I'm sure it's the perfect subject matter for Mr. Takamine's next book, but to be perfectly honest, I don't like this assignment one bit. It gives me a bad feeling. There's no way I want to go to that mansion, but it's like my job, right? I guess I'll have to go. And I wouldn't want to waste the chance to work with Mr. Tekamine just because of a little bit of uneasiness, either. It doesn't help that I have the sixth sense for the supernatural, either. There's such a thing as knowing too much sometimes. Is that her brother? It sounds like it. Alright, we need a save point. Ooh. Dude, this place is huge! Oh my- that's him, right? It's brother... Mafuyu. Go, go, go. Uh, wait. Oh no. Oh no, we gotta load up. Type 47, let's go. Whoa, it got so grainy just now. Holy moly, I can't see. You're terrifying. You're very scary. Very, very, very scary indeed. Stop moving! Sheesh, you're scary. Run, girl. Turn around. Come here. Get in my rectacle. So I can 
exercise you. Take that. Okay, you're almost done. Come here. Get out of here. You have been exercised. Peace. Woo. All right, that was pretty horrifying. <laughs> The, all the ghosts we've seen so far have been pretty human-like in nature. I mean, obviously they, they look like humans. They are humans. That did... Oh. That did not look like a human. What the heck is this? There's a small piece of paper in the crevice. I think we can reach it. Old news article. On the night of the 3rd, the police received a report that four children failed to return home after 9 p.m. There is an old superstition in the surrounding villages about children being snatched away by ghosts, and some villagers indeed suspect that this is what has happened to the four kids. Oh my gosh, dude. So whatever's going on in this mansion has really freaked out, like, local residents. Like, they know about this place. God, look at all this stuff on the wall. It's so creepy. Like, people have been dragged or something. All right, I feel like I've not been exploring everything as well as I should. I I think there's some doors back there I missed. Ooh, look at this. There's so much to explore. All right, there's something around though. I think it's on the other side. Ooh. That's the stuff right there. That's the stuff we should have used. Alright, sorry, I'm going back because I think there's some doors I missed. Right here, I think. Thank God for a maparoni. But dude, can we get a save point, please? Look at all this open space. This is the fight room if I have ever seen one. There are several pieces of paper on the floor. It looks like part of a notebook. September 10th, 8 p.m. I clearly saw the image of a woman in front of the mirror near the entrance. She had long hair and a white kimono. There were ropes tied to her arms and legs, and she dragged them along when she walked. I think I heard Koji talk about something like that, too. There's something very wrong about this mansion. Woo. Okay, so we kind of know where the ropes are coming from a little bit. Oh my gosh, can we go through these screens? Oh, we can! Oh jeez, we're like opening up the battlefield here. I don't like it. The window's nailed shut from the outside. I can't look outside. There's a dark red stain. As if blood have flowed here. Oh god. Oh god, I regret this. Why? Why did I just keep going the other way? There is something at my feet. Type 14! Woo! Oh god, I'm nervous. Hello? Dude, I love the flashlight though. I see something. Shiny! Let me through. Oh, I just walked through. Sick! There's something reflecting in the dark. Ooh, sacred water! I'm gonna look that up. Something is wrapped around the handle. It won't move. It looks like hair. What? Let me see. Oh, it's a detail we can't exactly see. That's creepy. I'm super freaked out now. Wood is nailed to the window. They didn't want people looking in. There's an old book of rice paper on the ground. It's written in charcoal ink. Research scrap. The mystery of the rope maiden. Is that who we're seeing? Among the few documents found on the ritual, mention of the rope shrine maiden is made many times. Her arms, legs, and neck are bound by five ropes. However, no documents discuss the role she plays in the ritual. One theory is that she is a sacrificial lamb, but I find it hard to believe. 
that such a cruel ritual was practiced. Hmm. Okay, interesting stuff. I love all the notes we're getting. Oh no! Please! No! Okay, okay, okay. It's time to upgrade. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, sorry. Exit. Camera! Come here! Oh, you are very scary. I knew we were gonna fight. Oh! Go night night! Alright, dude, this extra- this, uh, buffed film is real good. Let's go. Give me all those score points. Look at that. 6917. Nice. Okay, um, that was a big room, but glad that I went there. Can we get a save point, please? There are buttons with characters. The device must open the door. There's engraving underneath, but it's gouged. Can only read some. I can just barely make it out. The Shinto ritual. Strangling and held on the day of from the gouge outwards. Oh, puzzle. Okay, we'll save that for another time. I need to find a save point because it's been a long episode and I'm trying, really trying to keep around like 40 45 minutes. Did we do. Uh. Oh, it's a big loop, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh, cool. So, I went here already. Yes, but let's continue. Uh, I think there's something on the other side here. Falling candles are all around. I read boxes inside, but the door is broken. It won't open. There's an old scroll among the fallen candles. Strangling ritual. So that's where that comes from. The ropes. On the 13th... Oh, oh, red numbers. Um, time to uh, write some notes. On the 13th day of the 12th month, December 13th, a maiden cut off from the outside world for 3,669 nice long days shall be torn apart to provide power to the rope. What? I put the old document in my file. My god. They pulled her apart? Wow, oh, I love the sound design. It's so good. There are several pieces of paper on the shelf. They look like part of a red notebook. September 11th, 6.30 a.m. I saw that woman in the white kimono again. She's trying to tell me something. She knows I have this special sense for ghostly things. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. He gives all his notes are going to be in that red book. I forgot. Psh, sorry. The woman's name is Kire. So it's Kire, right? Huh? <laughs> I shouldn't get any closer than this. I don't want to get any closer. I'm scared. I put the piece of notebook in my file. Dude, this is beautiful. I see something over there. A door? Gosh, there's so many places to go. Hold on. A few things at a time here. There's a box for a mortuary tablet and bone remains among the candles. The owners? My controller's vibrating. Oh! Some other place shows in the photo. I wonder if there's something there. Uh... I don't recognize that just yet. So you don't necessarily get points for that. You just... it's just clues. There's something shiny on the shelf. Spirit stone! Let's go! I thought you only got those from, uh... Uh, from boss fights or winning fights. But it looks like we can pick them up too. 
All right. Yet a mysterious feeling from the door must be sealed by the talisman. Okay. Another key item uh, is being shown to us through those through those uh, pictures. Ooh, did y'all see that? I saw like a shadow or something. Oh, thank God. Save point. It's been so long. Sheesh. Let's save, shall we? Holy moly. All right, y'all. I'm going to call it here. Holy crap. This has been really fun. It's kind of hard to put down because you're getting like all these little bits of mystery at the same time of being kind of defending yourself. And I love this. I love these kind of games. And anyway, I wanted to give it justice by being careful with the way I've rendered things with the emulator. You know, I want to provide um, a good viewing experience for the game, um, but also be respectful of how it was supposed to be, or, you know, how it was supposed to be experienced. So anyway, Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and also hope to catch you on the next one. Ciao!